Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Adobe Connect as a participant. So there's a few things that we're going to be covering today. First of all, um, logging in and getting set up and accessing the meeting, followed by how to enable your microphone and your webcam, and also how to use the chat box, and also how to use the status icons uh, that's on there. So the status, it just allows you to raise your hand uh, if you've got a question or um, set a status to agree if you agree with what's being said, things like that. But we'll cover that in a bit more detail later on. I'll probably also move on to some of the extra features that you may use, such as using the whiteboard and uh, responding to a poll that's been created. So first things first, you would have been emailed a link uh, to access the meeting. Now, what I've done here is just copied and pasted it into Microsoft Edge, and uh, it brings up the website here. So there are other uh, browsers that you might be using. Uh, you can access it on Chrome, which is a, another one, Google Chrome. Um, I've had a couple of issues with enab enabling the microphone on Chrome, um, but everything seems to be fine on Edge. Uh, with Chrome, you can still access the website and the meeting without any issues. Um, but if you want your microphone to work, I've found it works uh, easier on Microsoft Edge. I think Chrome sometimes blocks it. Okay, so once you've put the uh, link into the browser, I'll bring you onto this page. If you've not got a login, um, use the guest section here. So just type in your first name and your surname and click on enter room. Okay, so you might have an issue with getting on, uh, which will come up like this. So you'll see this message come up. Uh, you can ignore this, uh, uh, but this message might come up. So what you need to do is to enable Flash Player uh, and then join with Classic View. So to enable Flash Player, easy way of doing it, and it's pretty pretty similar on Chrome, is uh, there should be an icon here on Edge. It's a little padlock on Chrome. I think it's just a, a circle with an eye in it. Uh, but if you click on there, and you'll see down the bottom here, it says Website Permissions, Allow Adobe Flash. So that is now on. And you just have to refresh the page. So we'll do that. And we'll wait for it to come up. Okay, so it still comes up like that, but you will be able to click on this Join with Classic View now. So we shall, uh, we shall click on that. Okay, so here we go. Here is the uh, the meeting. Uh, as you can see, it's got a list of participants and the host here. There's a chat box down there, which is quite straightforward. You can just type in there, and it comes up. So you'll see a log of everybody that's uh, that's on there. You can sort of private message the tutor if you wanted to as well. Just hover over the person's name, just click on Start Private Chat, and that'll come up in there as well and you'll have a list of uh, people who you're chatting with along there so that's if you wanted to ask a question that you didn't necessarily want to, uh, out in the in the open with everybody else you can, uh, you can use that so uh, we'll move on to using the microphone so if you've got a microphone on your computer you can enable it so to do that it's got to uh, connect my audio here You'll get this little message pop up. Just click on allow. I'll just mute it because I'll be uh, doubling up. So um, that should ever be be connected now uh, to the microphone. If you're if you've done that and you're having issues still, you can just go on uh, select uh, microphone. Just make sure you, there is one selected, or you can go on meeting. And go on audio setup and it'll bring this uh, little option on so you just got to follow the instructions on here and hopefully it should work so if I record something there play it and then it'll show that it's working so I'll just do that now as you can see there is a, uh, a sound coming up on there which is showing that um, uh, it's picking up my microphone and then you'll see it's on there as well Okay, so once we've done that, 
Let me just uh, come back to there. So your microphone should be up and running now, should be working. Um, you can do the same sort of process with the webcam if you wanted to use that. I don't have one connected on here, which is probably a good thing. Um, but uh, again, you can just start and stop by clicking on those. Okay, so you may not have these icons. It all depends on whether the host has enabled participants to be able to um, access these uh, and be able to, to be able to speak. Uh, but there is also the sets data. So if you click on there, you've got raise hand. So if you've got a question, you can click on there. You'll see over there, there is uh, an icon with uh, the hand raised and that will send a little pop up to the host as well, just to make sure that uh, they are aware you've got a question to ask you've got agree so if you agree with what's being said you can click on there disagree step away if uh, for some reason you had to step away you can click on that and it will um, mute your microphone automatically mine's already muted at this point but uh, again the host will get a pop-up just to say that you've stepped away briefly if you'd like to communicate with the host say for example you want them to speak louder you can click on there and that will pop up on the side. So that's just to say that you'd like them to speak louder. You've got speak softer, speed up, slow down, laughter, if you think it's funny, and applause as well. Um, again, those will all appear on the side there so your host will be able to see uh, what you're trying to communicate to them. Okay, and that's pretty much the basics to be honest that's generally how you log in how you get set up and uh, how you use those features so what I'm going to have a look at now is the poll section so uh, your screen may change that's generally where the host is selecting different um, options for you as they're going through the presentation or, or the meeting there'll be some maybe some discussion notes so whilst you're all having a chat the host could be typing some notes in there just as uh, reminders or things to do. Again, there's still the uh, chat box there. And then there's, there may be instances where there's a little poll. So the, the uh, host might put in a question, give you some answers, and you can just click on one to vote. Obviously, I'm a bit biased here, saying it's, it's a great tutorial. Um, so again, that's quite straightforward. That's generally how you would use that. And then if we have a look on the next set of slides there may also be some files uh, attached onto the meeting so if there are some files in there you can click on those there's a download files option there so you can download the files uh, that you might need there is also a whiteboard which uh, the host may enable you to draw on so if that is the case you've got the various different tools here on the side so for, for example, a marker, if you wanted to just do a scribble or draw, or draw a picture of some sorts, or there's text as well. So you can type in there as well. And that is pretty much it. If you do have any other issues, uh, technical issues logging in, uh, you should have received, hopefully, a user guide. So the user guide will look like this. Um, so we've got a little section here uh, first and foremost tells you about uh, how to connect um, so it says it's recommended that you tested the uh, your computer prior to the meeting so you can do this by going to this uh, link here uh, the connection test checks your computer make sure all the systems requirements are met uh, if you pass the first three steps then you've you're ready to participate in the meeting if you don't uh, pass the test then uh, perform the suggested actions and, and then run the test again. Um, on the guide, it will pretty much just go through everything I've just been through uh, previously. And uh, we'll just have a look down at the bottom. So there are some more troubleshooting uh, hints and tips here. So I can't get into the meeting. I can't hear the audio. I think I pretty much covered those already. Um, I've been granted the right to speak, but no one can hear me. Again, I think I've uh, covered that one. and. Uh, the host is sharing the screen but it is fuzzy so it will tell you on there uh, what the issue 
may or may not be. Uh, but that is it for today. Thank you very much.